What you are about to hear is another prophecy from the prophet who prophesied Japan's judgments of God 16 years prior to March 11, 2011 www.dailymotion.com Prophecy to Japan 16 years prior to 2011 Jesus declares World War III on sinners worldwide God is pissed off at sinners worldwide Therefore, he has officially declared the start of WW3 on Earth It is not being started by Russia, ISIS, Israel, or any other Hazarian mafia I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I don't have any God to give to men the opportunity to walk uprightly, to live justly, and to partake of me, then I say, they throw off the same to return again unto bondage. No, they are utter fools. I say, there are endless multitudes who have strayed from me, gone abhorring, returned to the way of vomit. Now I say, they wallow in the same. And I say, they are disgust to shame unto me, because they have cast off the very precious to take up the vial. And I say they have returned again unto bondage after I had set them free. Now I say this day that I the living God do not call men and women to return to bondage to be found in the oppression, the darkness of the same. But I say that I call them to thank me and praise me that it is me they can serve, that it is me that they can follow after and seek to please. For I say when any people will walk uprightly in me, then they are guided in my way. But I say when a people will choose the way of estrangement from my arrangement, I say they are choosing the way of death. Now I say you are living in time when multitudes are so dull, so dumb, so stupid, I say they are easily ensnared and entangled and taken back. That is, they are taken back into the very web of deception that I extracted them from. And I say they are easily deceived, led astray, and taken out of my way. And I say it is because they do not cherish the redemptive mercies that are given unto them, nor do they guard their lives from the devourer day after day. For I say that it is indeed a warfare to keep what it is that I do bring, what it is that I do give. And I say, when men and women are too lazy, too crazy to defend what I've given unto them, I say that they lose the same. For I say that the thief, the liar, the deceiver is ever present to snatch away. And I say that he can take from a man in an instant what I have given unto him, as though he never had the same. Now I say this day that I the living God do not find pleasure in those who will not continue in me. That is, the ones who draw back through an evil heart of unbelief and follow me no more, where do they end? I say they do not end in happiness, but I say they end in destitution of souls. And I say they end in the wretchedness, because they are found under my wrath. Now I say there is no excuse for the man or the woman that turns aside, that goes a-whoring, that lives in transgression against me. For I say when any will choose the way of violation, they are choosing the way of death. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to death, but I call you to life. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed be guided for, directed, corrected, and instructed by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that I give to you the truth, the light, and the strength of who I am, that indeed you are guided forth by me. For I say it is a blessed thing to believe upon me, to trust me, and follow me day by day. That is, that you can be guided in the truth, the light, the mercy, the blessedness of who I am. That you can indeed be instructed in truth and in righteousness, for I, the living God, will give to you the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the life source, it is me, the living God, who is the mercy, the truth, and the hope given unto my own. Now I say this day that I don't have been God have never intended that my people would be found in the way of the wicked, found in the way of the willful, the stubborn, the proud. But I say that I've intended that my people would be guided for, directed, and corrected each day by me, and given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the mercy, and the hope of who I am, for I am the one who is able. That is, I'm able to direct, correct, and bring forth the ones who believe upon me, trust me, and follow me day by day. Now I say, in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, consider how often I show you the light upon the path. That is, I show you the pathway wherein you can be guided day by day. For I say that I will guide you forth, I will instruct you and direct you in my way. And I say that I will give you mercy time and again, for I am indeed well able. But I say when any turns back from believing, from following, from walking in me, I say they turn back to that which is evil, 
before me. For I say, when men stop believing in me, I say they go into death, they depart from the life. And I say they take up the way of accusers, abusers, and those who are simply too lazy to fight for what I've given unto them. And I say they throw up their arms in despair, declaring it is too hard to live for me. But I say that the truth of it is they give themselves up to death, to deceit, to the thief, the liar. And I say they end up in desolation of soul. And I say in the end they may moan, they may groan, they may complain, and give every excuse imaginable for their desertion of me. But I say that the fact remains that they are the corruption, the vile, the wicked, the perverse, who have gone another way. That is, they have taken a way that will prove to be damnation of their souls. I say that I, the living God, never called you to damnation, but I say that I've called you to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that each and every day I give unto you the newness of life that I provide. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that for me you are guided forth and directed in the truth, the mercy, the strength, and the purpose that I provide. For I say you are not meant to be found in a way that is far from me, but I say you are meant to be kept in me. For I say when any man or woman will continue to humble themselves, will cry out unto me, then I say they are guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength, the mercy, the truth, and the hope of who I am, because it is me who is able. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to back up from me, to turn aside from me, not at all. But I say that I've called them to keep their first estate, to walk the straight and narrow way that I provide, and be ever thankful unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the strength, the purpose, and the light upon the path of any man or woman who will remain true unto me. And I say that I will guide them forth, uplift them, direct them, and instruct them in my way. But I say that the ones who are choosing to be losing because they are walking far off from me are going in the way of stubborn, proud fools. And I say that they will be overwhelmed, devoured, and taken in the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to go in the way of the stubborn, the proud, the defiant, and likewise be overwhelmed. But I say that I call you to come forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I give day by day. And I say that I call you to be uplifted by me, the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say that I call you to know what it is to be kept, for I will keep you always. I say this day when I, the living God, do shine my light upon the path, and I show thee tender mercy, I say, come forth ever rejoicing in me. And I say, be made glad that I am the one who will give unto you the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy that I provide. And I say, be thankful that to me you are kept, for I am the keeper of those who will keep in me. But I say to the lazy, the slothful, the non-concerned, the ones who turn back, what is it that they turn unto? I say, they turn to the shame, they turn to the disgrace, they turn to the darkness of their old ways, and I say, they are laughing stock to many because they do so. For I say, they turn back to that which is vomitous, ugly, and perverse before me. I say, do not turn back to the wretchedness, the misery of your old ways, and be found a slave in the same. But I say, instead, come forth in the newness of life that I provide. For I say that all of those who turn aside from me to return to darkness, to return to evil, are literally returning to the course of their own despair. And yes, they will be overwhelmed, overtaken, and devoured. And yes, they will be destroyed because they have chosen an opposition to me. And I say they have chosen the way of darkness, evil, and iniquity. They have chosen the way whereby they will live under the wrath. For I say when men return unto sin, they return to bondage, and my wrath is automatically dispensed unto them. Now I say consider how stupid it is to come out from under mercy to go under wrath. That is, to cast off the abundance of goodness that I've given, the life and the truth and the hope that I provide, to take up the way of darkness, deceit, and the evil of the same, and to live continually under my wrath revealed, because you have chosen to return to the same. For I say, if you have indeed known my mercy, my salvation in your life, I say, hold to the same. That is, do not let the thief, the liar, the robber, the deceiver, the destroyer take you down. 
but I say instead be uplifted, brought more guided and directed in the truth, the light, the strength, the blessedness, the mercy that I provide. And I say be thankful that each and every day you are guided, for, directed and corrected in me. And I say be thankful that you are uplifted for I shall guide you in light. Now I say this day when you see the ones who have given themselves over to wallow in self-pity, to return to the vomit of the same, to go back into the mire as a sow in the filthiness, I say no, they are utter fools. And I say they are fools who have invoked unto themselves my wrath revealed. I say that I, the living God, never called you to go back into darkness, but to continue in light. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that each and every day I do uplift and guide you, direct and correct you in my way. For I say, indeed, my way is light and truth, mercy and strength, and the hope intended for all who trust in me. For I say, if you keep on trusting, believing, and looking to me, then you are guided forth in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the blessedness, the mercy, the hope, and the peace that I provide. For I say it is to me that you will be guided, directed, and corrected each day. And I say it is to me that you are given the hope, the peace, and the safety, for I will give unto you the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be poisoned by the iniquity of the liar and accept the same. But I say that I call you to refute his lies through the truth that I give thee day by day. For I say you are not meant to be as those who turn back through an evil heart of unbelief and follow no more. For I say they end in the course of their own destruction, the way of death and damnation of their souls. For I say under the wrath they shall not be able to do anything except incur more of the same. But I say under mercy that men are guided, directed, and corrected by me. I say, be thankful even now that you can continue in repentance day after day, that you can indeed recognize your utter need of me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is bringing down the proud, the defiant, the rebellious, the hateful, who think they must have it their way. For I say that the way they are determined to have is the way of their own destruction. I say, this day do not look for your way, but I say, be found in my way. That is the way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed upon thee day after day. After day. And I say, be made glad that in me you are given all that you ever have need of, for I will give you the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to the confusion nor the delusion that comes when you stray from me. But I say that I call you to be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and guided in the plain path that I provide, and given the mercy and the truth, the strength and the hope day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who will guide you in the way of my righteousness my truth, my mercy, and my strength day by day. And it is me who gives you the newness of life. I say, be thankful that you can be continuing to believe me, to trust me, and obey me, not turning back, but ever moving onward in me, the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. Storms are rolling again through Texas. Tonight they are hoping it is not the hail. The hail looked like torpedoes being shot into this backyard pool in Wiley, Texas. Meteorologist Tom Bradshaw. This is really, really unusual. As more than 10,000 people lost power. Why? Why is this happening? Why? It's just incredible. I've never been through anything like this before. Here in Wiley, you can hear the glass shattering as massive hailstones pierce through the windows of this home. Tons of dead sardines clog the Kaole River in southern Chile. Authorities have started cleaning up, but why the fish died is still a mystery. New information on the Indiana State Trooper that we told you about on Good Morning Tri-State, who was fired for promoting religious beliefs during traffic stops. I work for the state, but all of me, I'm a soldier for Jesus Christ. God has used that job in the last three years, what it was supposed to be met for. Now it was to spread the word, to tell people when they're hurting the truth. Government programs cannot touch anybody. It's the word of God that can change people.